I hope is uh, pretty in favor of abortion based on this set. I have to say, I'm pretty pro-choice as well. I uh, think uh, abortion should be legal right up until the kid can swing a baseball bat. I want to see what he's got before I decide, you know? I, uh, you see a lot of ads everywhere now about human trafficking, you know, government PSAs. It used to be, stop smoking, now it's stop human trafficking. It's like, fine, I'll cut back, but it's tough to quit. <laughs> it's a filthy habit. I've been doing it for a long time, though. Um, I also like the posters uh, in the airport report human trafficking. It's like, do I look like a narc to you? It's like, yeah, I'm running late for my flight, but uh, I'd love to get in the middle of an international prostitution ring today. I might meet some celebrities. <laughs> I, uh, you're speaking of, can we talk about Stephen Hawking? Yeah, a lot of people say uh, he was on Epstein's Island quite a bit. I don't know about that. I don't think Stephen Hawking would ever stand for child rape. <laughs> I mean, even if he was there, would that be the worst thing in the world? Like, someone's got to teach those kids math. <laughs> I, uh, I read that he actually fucked his nurse, too. I mean, geez, for a guy without the use of his arms, he really could pull. Am I right, guys? <laughs> We could all look up to that. Um, yeah, yeah. I shop at Trader Joe's a lot. Uh, if you didn't know I was a white male in my 30s that's completely given up, you do after that statement. <laughs> Seriously, I love it there. Everybody's so nice. The cashiers, no matter what you're buying, the cashier has a pleasant little comment when you're checking out. Like, if you're buying chicken wings, it's like, someone's ready for the big game. <laughs> or, I, I roll up with a salad. Someone's trying to eat healthy. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, I just wish they'd be a bit more honest about it. Like when I roll up with a bottle of Chardonnay and a dozen mini cupcakes, the response really should be, someone's trying to convince his wife to fuck him. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> I, uh, I uh, broke my back in the summer. Uh, seven vertebrae. Not a good time. Don't recommend it. Um, I was in the hospital for 12 days, couldn't walk for seven, couldn't masturbate for a full 36 hours. <laughs> it was pretty dire, all right? And that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is everybody wants to know how you did it. How'd you break your back? I wish I could tell everybody there was something cool like I crashed my Harley or I snapped my spine by fucking too hard. <laughs> that's a thing, I think. That's a thing. But no, I... Uh, I crashed my bicycle, and they had to cut the spandex off of me. And, uh, that's embarrassing. You guys can get a laugh in about that, right? Yeah. Even uh, even my second grader nephew had to have a go at me already. He comes up to me and says, Uncle Troy, you got to be more careful on your two-wheeler. Like, you little shit. I bet your parents wish they were more careful seven years ago. I didn't actually say that. I'm going to wait till he's older to tell him he was conceived after a Nickelback concert. <laughs> I mean, he should know, but not at seven. Um, I, uh, I moved from, to Tucson from Canada a couple of years ago. One thing that's a little different is the condition of the vehicles on the road. Like, I've seen some shit out there. Uh, when I got my Arizona driver's license, I kind of expected them to confiscate my front bumper as part of the process. <laughs> you know, so I'd fit in. I, uh, I saw a woman making a left-hand turn while holding up her side curtain airbag. That's, com that's commitment. you got to get where you're going. I respect it. Um, but, but people say it's 2024. We should have flying cars by now. Thank God we don't in Tucson. <laughs> you see two or three 911s on the way to work in the morning. Uh, sir, a second Circle K has been hit. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Jordan.